All right, today we have Mushoku Tensei Season 2, Episode 12, The End of Core 1. Now, before we get into anything with the episode, we do have another question from the Q&A section. If you guys ever want to ask me any questions, check out that Q&A section on the Discord. You guys can ask me any questions, and I'll try to answer at least one before any episode it pertains to. This one is from Layson. Thank you so much for the question. He or she asks, This previous episode ended on a happy note with the reveal of Sylphie's identity to Rudeus. Given the tendency of the series until now to alternate between peaceful life and trouble for Rudeus, what do you expect for this episode? More troubles or finally some well-deserved happiness? I feel like, that's a great question by the way, thank you. I feel for the rest of season two and for the future of this arc, I feel like we're going to have a lot more troubles, but I feel like for this particular episode and the end of core one, I do feel like we're going to have some well-deserved happiness, maybe a little reconciliation, maybe a little... If you know what I'm saying, I'm not going to say maybe, maybe, but great question. Thank you. I'm praying for happiness. I am praying for a great episode. If you guys want to watch the full uncut version with me, make sure to check out that Patreon links down below. Uh, get early access to the shows as well. Let's not waste any more time. Let's hop right into today's episode. Mushoku Tensei, season two, episode 12. Let's do it. All right, here we go. It is rainy, snowy, wet. I'm assuming we're still in this cave. <laughs> Best opportunity, if any. No more regrets, I respect it. Aww. Let's just all come together in unity and say W for my man Rudy. I'm praying no awkwardness or no... Oh no, is a little man still having troubles? This is what I was not wanting. It's all good though. It's all good. It's all good. At least we're being honest with her. My man has issues, you know. And now he feels... Oh no, you don't gotta do anything like that. Come on. Yeah. This just goes to show how much this can mean to a guy, you know? Like how it hits you so mental, you know? Don't we all? It's called Viagra. We were this close to doing it, you know? So. Oh no. Don't laugh at that, Ariel. Damn. Respectable, Luke. Such an understandable man. Sometimes it's a man's thing, you know? He's like, I finally get it. It all makes sense. You're not lying, Luke. You are, in fact, correct. Never seen Luke speak so passionately. That's the thing that only a man would understand. Right? Come on. Shout <laughs> out Rudy's cousin. Yeah. I'm curious how Luke's going to help. I'm curious <laughs> what he's going to do. It's a good response to that Luke logic right there. <laughs><笑><笑><笑> Oh my lord. That's the... Uh, don't tell me. Aphrodisiac. Didn't he buy almost buy that when we were with um, uh, little sister, Lilia, Lilia's daughter? No, it was Eris. Yeah, it was Eris and Ghislaine with the Aphrodisiac back. Yeah. Bro, I just... There's so much of the show. I try to remember it all. You know, it's just, this is hilarious to me. That promotes vigor and desire. Well, if you're going to use it on us, I must give a huge thank you to you, Luke. Yes. 
Seriously, talk about a true, true. Talk about a turn of heart though against Rudy from Luke. You know, I've always liked Luke. Hey, maybe get a nice little hotel room, maybe. I don't know. By spending money for the month? What's up with Ariel and Luke being the fucking best friends right now? Absolute plugs. Right. They have an aphrodisiac and a lot of money. We can't get Rudy a boner. I don't know what can. I don't know if... I don't know if every dorm is the same as Rudy's because he's a special student, you know, but if every dorm has a fireplace and a setup like that, nice school we're at. Oh, I thought she was going to try to sneak it to him, but no, she's going to be upfront and open about it. Seen that with Eris and Ghislaine. Okay. Is this gonna work? This is the real question. <laughs> She's already getting on. <laughs> she gonna try to drink some too? She's like, if you're committed, I'm committed as well. So the drug is starting to uh take effect. As like people on ecstasy would, they're getting a little hot and rowdy, hot and sweaty, you know. It seems to be working. Can't resist? <laughs> Look at his eyes, insatiable. Now this is the real question. Does it work? We will soon find out. Depending on this aftermath. Because the last time we had an aftermath of something similar, it ended up being the, one of the worst days of Rudy's life. No, Sophie is not a good start. Bro, after everything that happened with Eris, after everything that happened with what's her blonde name in that one city with Seoul, I'm just nervous about any sexual encounter we have. Maybe we'll give it benefit of the doubt. Maybe she is going to get us breakfast. Did she have her period? Whether it's a one night stand from the club or a long time overdue thing from a friend you love, whatever. You never want to have this night and have them just be gone immediately, you know. Oh, good. She was going to get some coffee or something, hopefully. Good. I was nervous. Rightfully so. They deserve some thanking. Overjoyed as in like... He's so nervous about her leaving and everything that happened last time with Eris that he is so glad and grateful that she is still there with him. His heart truly could not take another... another tear like that, we'll say. He was just praying things did not go horribly last night, you know? Hi, hi. Okay, Rudy. He's like, hey, this is this is our... <laughs> he's like Meliodas now. He's like, once we're officially together, he's like... He's like, I'm back? Alright, man god. You did it for us, bud. And I remember I was questioning multiple times throughout this core. What's the genre of the show? Is it Isekai? Is it Slice of Life? Is it Rom-Com? What is it? You guys or in the comments letting me know it's less of a genre specific show at all more of just the life and development of rudy and whatever shape and form that takes place you know we're just here to witness it so i love that so he's gonna help you in any way he can that's one thing i always loved about rudy he's such a real respect real if you help me out he's more than willing to help you out he doesn't like taking advantage of people. That's a W answer right there. So that's a man answer. Awesome. 
I could see this playing out like season four or something, you know? Go find the parents, go find mom, whatever, come back, come deal with Sylphie Ariel, the whole... Right? That is the question of the hour. B must stay there to protect Ariel. Are you going to leave and go find your family, or are you going to stay as well? I would hate for you to leave, Sylphie. <laughs> Luke was like, that's... Luke had my response, like, what? Sylphiette Grey Rat. Oh, is this really going to happen? I don't believe it. I firmly thought eventually we'd end up with Aerith, so if this really does happen, I will be a happy camper. Embrace your femininity. No need to worry about... Okay. I'm glad. Like, don't get me wrong, I loved Fitz and, and the alternate personas and stuff like that, but embrace your femininity. Let's be Sylphie, Sylphie at Grey Rat, and Rudy. Isn't it crazy? We're about to have three out of four people in this room be Grey Rats. <laughs> Damn, bro. That was the end? Thanks for watching. Look forward to part two. I'm so happy, but so mad at the same time. I've never felt like this. Well... To Layson's question about some well-deserved happiness or troubles, I had potential to have troubles this episode, but I'm so glad that they did have some well-deserved happiness. They absolutely deserve it, both of them in tandem. And that was a shock at the end. I hope it does go through. I would love for some marriage, some things to happen. I don't know. I'm very curious how this is going to play in with Eris, Roxy, the whole ordeal. That's one thing I love about Mushoku is there's so many expanding story threads that are so far away from each other that when they do finally connect like uh Eris and this and then what happens with Ghislaine and what happens with uh Roxy every you know I'm so excited for that culmination it's gonna feel so epic is the word I want to use like some Avengers style shit but I was so happy with Rudy in this episode so glad we we're able to cure our illness so happy so thankful for uh Sylphie luke and ariel is absolutely amazing people so glad we're like a full alliance now it's part two another 12 episodes i think it's gonna be in april i'm bummed we have to wait so long but i know it's gonna absolutely kick ass i'm very curious what's gonna happen very curious the next steps but i love this part loved it loved it loved it love the development from rudy i can already tell he's gonna be a fantastic main character um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out that Patreon. I appreciate y'all immensely. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.